Hello you guys, happy Sunday. I am starting off a bit of a daily vlog today. Talking to the camera is a bit of an emotional support for me right now, so we've got another vlog. Today is just a bit of a reset day. I'm cleaning everything, getting things organized. I also want to try and start and declutter, hopefully my wardrobe. I eventually want to declutter everything. Like there's a lot of stuff in my office, like underneath the spare bed, in the cupboards that I want to like go through, chuck stuff out, organize everything and try and make a little bit more room. But I think the one that I'm going to tackle first is my wardrobe and clean out some of my stuff. I'm going to eventually sell it on Depop when I get a chance. But anyway, just finished putting fresh sheets on the bed, which is always such a nice feeling. Can't wait to get into that tonight. I'm also baking a cake at the moment, which I hope works because it was out of date. Oh no, my camera is about to die. cleaning pretty much all of my spaces and now I'm gonna tackle the cupboard and I'm honestly feeling so excited like I think I was saying to you in my last video that I just love when you go through a big season of change it just feels so nourishing to like clean up your spaces declutter get rid of stuff that doesn't serve you and just clean up your life and that's what we are doing today i'm gonna start at this end actually because this is the side of my cupboard that is just an absolute mess my whole cupboard is a mess i also want to reorganize it so this is gonna be a big job this is so overdue time to be ruthless Alright, so I think I'm going to organise the cupboard by colours um, and in general categories because it's just a bit much and it looks way too messy. I just bought this, so that can go straight in. I'm going to wear that. Look, I might wear that. I'm going to get rid of this. This has a matching skirt to it too. It's from Petal Pop. I did wear it once and it's really cute colours, but skirt doesn't quite sit on my waist properly. I'm gonna get rid of this top too. Serve me well. We don't need that anymore. Mm, should probably keep this. I need to have a pile that's like stuff that I'm not sure about that's kind of just gonna sit in the basket and if I don't get to it or like come back to pick it up for anything then it goes. But there's some clear things that I'm gonna I'm gonna sell. This whole neck has, has had its time. And that moment has passed. I need to reorganize this again. I do wear that. That's a maybe. Still a good basic. I was telling you guys in a previous vlog that I've got like stuff I bought from Cook Eye ages ago that is still in incredible condition. I bought this like at least four years ago. And she is doing well. I'll be impressed with that to be honest. These are all recent-ish. I'd love to actually be able to see what's in here. It got to a point where like I had I couldn't tell you where half my stuff was. Oh. This is definitely seen better days. I don't even know if I can sell it. It's that gross. Yeah, you know what? Chuck it. Chuck her out. Oh yeah. Again, forgot I had this shirt. Keep it, see if I wear it. I love these, but I just never like go anywhere to wear them. They're very booby, but maybe I shouldn't that's a maybe. I don't know. I don't really reach for it, do I? Mm, I think this has had its time to. Just doesn't really sit properly on me. I might try and sell that. Oh, this is so sad. This is one of my favourite shirts, but my boobs have gotten so much bigger in the past year and a half. The girls don't even go into this anymore. But this is literally one of my favorite shirts. I wish it still fit. How cute is that? One of you can have that. This also doesn't really sit on me very well because my boobs have grown. This is a new top, so we keep her. I have a lot of these basics, which are really good to have. I think I've worn all of these recently. I'm gonna let this one go too. This has had some good memories in it, let me tell ya. You know when you have pieces of clothes that you like remember where you wore to a certain time and like, I don't know, a whole bunch of memories just come back? 
when I think of this shirt. I think I'm gonna get rid of the dragon. It's not really my vibe anymore. Get rid of this one as well. Never reach for that. This is a classic basic. Just constantly reach for. These are also good basics. I think I'm gonna let this one go as well. Wow, we're making progress. This can go too. I just don't like the tie straps on the side. This can also go. It feels so good to get rid of stuff, honestly. Oh wow, didn't even know I still have that. Yeah, she can go. Ooh, this is an I don't know. I haven't worn it for a while. Oh, I don't know about this either. Nah, I'm getting rid of it. It's not my style. How good? Let me get rid of this too. Oh, and this. I really hate that color. I haven't worn this yet. A new purchase. Oh, this is the same top that I just was questioning in a different color. So we'll see. This is a good basic to throw under things. So I might keep that. Haven't done that yet either. That is a new one. These are all new actually. Oh, I love this. That's a maybe. You know what? I really don't like these anymore. I only bought this in April. I wore it on my birthday, but I really don't vibe it. It comes in green too, so think about it. I still wear this. Not my vibe anymore, is it? Now look, I've been holding on to this in the hope that I'll wear it, and I don't. But how cute is this? Okay, I'm gonna sell that one. That's a cute little bottle to wear. This is another cool guy piece I've had for ages. It's actually so nice. It's normally a purple gal, but I really like that. I need to hang this up better. Oh my god. I'll show you guys what it is looking like. That's probably a bit more of a better close-up of what it looks like so I've done it in colors my neutrals and black and whites are the ones that I grabbed the most so I wanted them to be more accessible and yeah you can actually like move the stuff which is awesome I don't know how I feel about my jumpers being down here I don't really love that I might try and move them up there actually I think that might work a bit better because they're kind of like out of the way then looks way better. <laughs> I still haven't finished sorting out that side, but I kind of want to do my dresses on this side now. And just do like a big cull. These might be useful. All right, so this is a lot, and this is very overwhelming to me right now, but this pile like over here is all stuff to get rid of and sell. Um, so that will all be on my Depop. I don't know when I'm gonna like take the photos for everything, but I will pop my Depop like username in the description. Oh my god, there's something in my eye. Um, I still need to go through this. This is like long shirts and I don't really know what to do with them, like where to put them. But we're gonna sort that out. And then this is stuff for me to either put somewhere else to try on and see whether I like it or not. So I will try on in a second, but I'm just gonna move some stuff around and try and make this work a little bit better. Good evening guys. I have just finished dinner. I've just been like scrambling trying to get some stuff done because it's now getting a bit late and my body just feels really tired. I managed to declutter most of my stuff. I have this pile um, of stuff to go through and sell. So that stuff's gonna go on my Depop. It looks really small, but it's actually really big. Like the bucket finishes there. So that's a lot of stuff. I've got three more of those in the other room um, with stuff in it that also needs to be sold. So there's a lot of stuff to get through and it's gonna take me a while to like get pictures of everything and pop it all up. Like it's very, very time consuming to put up one ad. Bear with me while I do that. I don't know when I'm gonna get to that, but I'm glad that things are like out of my cupboard um, and I've just gotten rid of all the extra bits and pieces that were on my bed. This is what it's looking like. This was the main part that was stressing me out because it was so chaotic, but you can actually like move all the clothes now which is fun. And this looks like a lot cleaner and stuff because my jumpers are now at the top. I'll probably organize that another day, but the bulk is done, which is great. I really feel like I'm going through a bit of a, I don't know, change in my wardrobe and just like the things that I want to be wearing. So yeah, hopefully over time, I'll start to get a few more pieces that 
just align with how I feel in this stage of my life. I don't know. I'm going to put these last few little bits and pieces away, have a shower, and we're going to have a really nice wind down tonight. I want to read some of my book and I also want to do some manifesting. So we'll get to all of that. <laughs> I don't normally journal at night time, but I didn't journal this morning and in the past like 48 hours I've had a lot of thoughts buzzing around in my head. So I just thought to end off the week I would do a bit of a brain dump in my journal. I cannot tell you how much I love journaling, like especially during this season that I am in. It has been such a massive helping tool. For me and I feel like I'm really in the rhythm of journaling now it does take a little while to get into I feel and especially to find out how you like to journal but if you're not really into journaling I would say just try a bunch of different types of journals like depending on the day and depending on what's going on for me and you know it depends on how you want to use your journal sometimes i can literally just be unpacking thoughts sometimes it's a massive brain dump sometimes it's more like manifesting sometimes it's goal setting sometimes i will just write like random sentences ideas even it honestly just depends on the day and how i'm feeling yeah today i feel like we need to be doing a bit of a brain dump and i do want to start properly getting into some manifesting this week um i talked to my friend sarah on friday we went out for drinks and she is just like one of those people that sends out all the good vibrations i don't know i left seeing her feeling so motivated to like attract well attract my dream life it's out there and i feel like this is the first time in a number of years that I can see my dream life. Like I have spent so long and so many years questioning what I'm doing. Is this the right thing for me? Is, you know, am I even going to get there? What does my life look like? Like, what can I see my life looking like? It was never very clear and I felt like I never really had, what's the word? Like certainty. Um, Not that like you're very certain about anything in life anything can change but I just yeah I feel like now it's like I can be selfish I can do anything that I freaking want to do and that is so empowering I also had a tarot reading I don't think I talked to you guys about this but yeah I had a tarot reading and one of the cards that I got was about like a big life move now there are no barriers to this move and what was holding me back is no longer basically i'm set free to embark on this new move that is just so interesting because literally i have always wanted to move to the beach i've always wanted to be a coastal gal um all of my happiest memories as a kid were at the beach like we used to be at the beach all school holidays family time was always at the beach and it just yeah is a really calming place for me sunshine coast and gold coast respectively i was really wanting to move there about a year ago and my partner got a job in brisbane and didn't see us moving for a very long time to the coast so yeah i felt like i was kind of pushing back what I really wanted to do for someone else yeah now I'm like let's just go for it and I can actually see this life for myself it's a weird feeling I don't think I'm explaining it very well but anyway I want to manifest that and I want to put all of those good intentions out there because I truly truly believe raise your vibrations you get good vibrations back I don't know I can't even explain it but it just feels like I've been suppressing myself for a couple of years I haven't been living to my full potential which is what I'm going to get back to doing. Thank God for journaling. I am going to have a quick brain dump. I am going to remind myself 
to manifest this week that is my intention for the week is to get into manifesting and all the good vibrations and yeah then i'm gonna watch some tv and go to bed because it's already nine o'clock and if you know me i am a very early to bed kind of gal all journaled out. I am very excited to get into the manifesting this week. Just see how I go this week. I feel like this weekend was very big for me emotionally. I don't know. I feel like I've had a bit of closure almost and I can start to really delve into myself and what I want to do. I don't know. I just got no limitations. There's nothing holding me back. Time to start making some moves. I love that. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little random daily vlog. I really just felt like continuing talking to you guys today after I finished the last vlog. I am hoping to start a weekly vlog tomorrow. So hopefully that's the next video that you guys see after this. I do have a few other videos in mind relating to healing and all that kind of stuff that I've been talking to you about. So I will hopefully have a bit more time to film those over the next couple of weeks as well. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Good night, guys. See you next week.